Hello stars, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. And this Let's Play is brought to you by MuchGames.ca, Fuse 4 Network, and Insomania Game. And last time we made our way to the Deep Woods, as well as get prepared for it as well. And uh, had a little bit of trouble figuring out where am I supposed to go, but now I know where to go. Alright, so, with that said, let's just not waste any more time and uh, get moving. Whoa! Nice! Very nice. And, uh... Oh yeah, and these, uh, enemies... Ah! <laughs> awesome! Now, those plants take more than one hit to kill, so those are not your simple plants. Oh, also, uh, here's a treasure chest up here. And thanks to that extra wallet, I might be able to fit whatever is in this chest. And what's what's in here? You got a red rupee! It's worth 20 rupees. Don't spend it all in one place. Very good. Nice start. Very good start. I'm gonna bump this tree. Nothing. Sometimes I always bump the trees just so that I can find if there's anything else that I'm missing. Uh, anyway. Oh. Hold up, bud. I need to ask you a favor. I tell you, your timing could not have been better. Look here, I stumbled onto one of these things just now. It looks like something I've seen in the ancient texts. If I remember right, yep, this is one of these, the things the goddess was said to left, to have left behind for the hero of legend. Pretty amazing, right? Even I thought of a name for these things. I could have been calling them goddess cubes. Makes sense, right? Well, I guess. Those ancient texts say something real interesting stuff about these things. How did it go again? Let me see. Uh... Summon forth the light from the heavenly blade, and that may, and that and may that sword's master receive aid. So there you have it. I see you got yourself a sword there. Yeah, why don't why not? Hey, thanks a billion, bud. All right. So, oh, this cube is made of some sort of metal I have never seen. I've wailed on it, but nothing happens. You know, but I would say that the key to cracking this egg is that one line, you know, the light from the heavenly blade. Sorry if I had used a, what is it, a, a I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of sounded like a god. Like, lowercase g, not uppercase g. Anyway. Yeah, you simply skyward strike it, and there it is. Whoa! Did you see that? The cube just shot up into the sky. I think it reacted to that whirly beam thing that shot out of your sword. Where did you? Th where do you think the cube shot off went to, anyhow? This mystery just got a whole lot more uh mysterious. Ain't the texts say that there are cubes like that, like that one, all over this land. I tell you what, you blast as many of those cubes as you can find. If you find out more about them along the way, you come see me. Alright. So anyway, uh, yeah. That was very interesting to say the least. Also, you might want to push this down just so that uh, you'll have a shortcut. So that way you don't have to do all that crap again. And always, always create shortcuts for yourself. I know it's not good to take shortcuts in life, but... As long as you're not cheating and you're not, you know, hurting anybody... I don't... I say why not, you know? Also... Nothing? I Yeah, I always uh, bash the trees just to see if there's anything coming out of them, but uh, nothing else. 
And also do check the bushes sometimes because you never know what you might find. And, uh, let's see. I, I should think of stuff to ask uh, you guys. And I might do a question of the day, and that is, uh, uh, out of all the games that you saw on Nintendo Direct, uh, which game are you most interested in uh, getting? I would have to say that uh, of the ones, I would, I would probably would like to get, you know, some of the virtual consoles. Uh, games, especially the ones you can't even get on uh, the Wii Points channel, or the Wii Shop channel, rather. You know, like, you know, because at, at some point, you know, the Wii Shop channel will be extinct, so I hope that doesn't happen, but uh, if it does, I'm pretty sure there are some games that you can't even get with it. Yeah. I had a feeling she would go in there. However, I have also detected the presence of numerous monsters. Well, of course! Well, of course. I would not, you know, think otherwise. If you feel unprepared to face the dangers ahead, considering returning to the sky to properly equip yourself. Yes. Yeah. And a stock of potions. Yeah, I have something like that. Yes, can we please do that? And get in my sword. Well, the skyward sword, I mean. Nothing? Okay. Always, always check to see if you can find some more money. Because I did spend a good, about, a good bunch getting that extra wallet, and, uh, and I know that I'm going to need at least, what, another 300 rupees just to get a, a, another adventure pack, which I may not need it right now. In fact, uh, let me see. Where's the adventure pack? Oh, one. Okay, I have uh, four slots at the moment. The max that you can have is eight, but another uh, another another slot would actually help, you know. Let's see. Ooh, there's bugs. Uh, let me let me catch them. Also, let me just get rid of those uh, spiky things. It's gonna be very quiet. Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. I just want to catch a bug, okay? Oh, it looks like they left. Well, anyway, I'm not. I wasn't always the best bug catcher in the world, so I wouldn't know how to do this. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there's something over here. Oh no, not you, bastard! I'll just slice you in half. That's what I'll do. Yeah, just gonna clear out some uh, room here and get some more money while I'm at it. It's amazing how much money you can find in the bushes. I wish... I mean, if it was like that in real life, I would be going through the bushes just to get some money. You know, if it was that easy, I, I, I'd do it a long time ago, really. And I'm pretty sure some people would give up their day job just so that they can find money in bushes. Like I said, it doesn't happen very often. In fact... I, I, I highly doubt that it ever happens, but, you know. Get some more ammo. Okay, and there's some... What is this? He who descended from above, look to the star that the bird rising upward, or heavenward, gazes upon, and aim your shot there. Yeah, um, I already knew this, but if, if you're playing this for the first time, that's how you would know. Uh, about the clue as to how to get inside the temple.
Anyway, let's get up here. And we're going to start the temple right about now. Uh, it's kind of too early to stop right now. Let me look at my uh, gear here. Uh, my shield is okay, and I have two potions of... Let me see. Yeah, I have, you know, two potions in my pouch, and then I have the dowsing effect. So yeah, you can just look through the stuff that you have. Any, but what you're supposed to do is get your slingshot and hit this. It's as simple as that. And with that, we're going to get inside our first temple. Wow, look at this. Skyview Temple. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's a shame, but you know, I had a feeling that would be the case. Right. Right. Um, I'm actually going to stop the video here. I'm going to just uh, uh, take some notes and uh, I'm going to get something to eat a little bit, but I'll be back. Um, don't worry. So I'm just going to save. I, I want to say save. There we go. Okay. Uh, I know this is going to be a relatively short video, but uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Uh, at least for me, at least. Uh, but do stay tuned for the next episode. Until then, have a good day, everybody.